Hello, welcome to the new way of doing school online. Um, hopefully you watched the video that I sent out to your parents last week. Um, I'm going to be posting videos, three videos every week. They're going to have three different lessons. And then with those lessons, you'll have um, an assignment to do with as well. You're going to need paper and pencil to take some notes because you need to be taking notes. Another thing I wanted to tell you guys too is that so I know that you're watching the whole video and not just going straight for the homework, um, I'm going to be giving random letters out throughout the video. And at the end of the video, those letters are going to spell something. And in order to for me to even look at your homework, I'm going to see if you have um, those letters. Uh, I'm going to make a Google Forms page. So the Google Forms page is the only question it's going to ask is what is the secret code. Um, and if you give me the right secret code, then I will grade your homework. If I don't have the secret code, I'm not grading your homework. So you need to watch the whole video. You can't just fast forward through me because uh, I'm going to randomly be giving you out um, secret letters. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to give you the first secret letter. The first secret letter is a P. P as in pineapple. P. So you should write that down somewhere. Um, that way you can get all the letters together at the very end of the video. Okay, so today we're going to be doing lesson 14.1. Lesson 14.1 is all over um, locating points on a coordinate plane. So we're going to go over some vocabulary first because this is a lot of um, new vocabulary that I don't think you guys have heard of, heard of before. So um, this is the good time to get your notes out. Okay. Okay, so let's take some notes. Um, we're going to write down some vocabulary and then um, I'll flip the screen back to me and I'll kind of show you guys. Okay, so the first thing I want you to write down, please write this down or you can type it uh, into a Google Doc or if you want you can type it into your Microsoft Word but you need to be taking notes of some sort. I think this is going to help you with your um, homework assignment. Okay, coordinate grid. Um, go ahead and put for this is used to graph and name the locations of points in a plane. I'm just going to write all the vocabulary out. You guys can pause the video if you need to um, take some more time writing this out or typing it. Okay, next thing I want you to put is ordered, oops, ordered pairs. Um, this is to locate points on a coordinate grid. And I spelled coordinate wrong, so let's fix that. Coordinate. Something I want you to put by this um, is x comma y and you need to put the parentheses so make sure you write it just like that parentheses x comma y I'm gonna explain this here in a little bit okay the next thing I want you to put is x axis and next to x axis I want you to put horizontal again this might not make sense right now but it's going to here in a second when I flip the camera um, back to me and I'll show you guys on my whiteboard okay Next, put y-axis, axis, and probably should put a dash here. Again, if I'm going too fast, just pause the video. Um, and then you're going to put vertical for this. Okay, um, the next word I want you to put is origin, origin. And I want you to put, um, this is the point at which um, the x-axis and the y-axis uh, intersect. Okay, and then you have the x-coordinate. We're almost done. X-coordinate. Spelled that wrong, of course. And this is um, the first number that names the distance, oops, oops, that names the distance um, from the origin, origin, um, 
along the x-axis. Again, this probably is like, what? But um, it will make sense here in a little bit. Okay, and then the y-coordinate. This is our last one. Hopefully you're taking notes. By the way, the next letter in our uh, mystery word is R. R as in rabbit. So you need to write R down somewhere. So I know that you're listening to the video. Okay, the y-coordinate um, is the second number. Second number that names the distance from the, oops, distance from the origin along the, can anyone guess? Da -da -da -da. So the y coordinate is going to be the y axis. Okay, write those notes down. <clears throat> okay, so let's go over some of the vocabulary that we just talked about. So the first one was coordinate grid. Let me show you what a coordinate grid looks like. A coordinate grid has four quadrants. It has quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. Now, in fifth grade, you only are working really in quadrant one. So you're not going to see these other three quadrants. So I'm going to go ahead and erase these for the time being. Okay. So here's your quadrant or your um yeah coordinate grid, your quadrant one. Now I'm going to make it bigger just for the sake of this video here. Okay. Um, within a coordinate grid, you have a y-axis and an x-axis. Now, how to remember which one's which is your y is your vertical. Now, I remember that because vertical would be this one, okay? And the y has the tail. So I think of the tail making that vertical line. So your y-axis is up and down, vertical, okay? Think of the y making the tail going down, okay? And then your x-axis is the horizontal line, okay? So y-axis x-axis. Okay, another vocabulary word that we talked about was ordered pair, or not ordered pair, um, origin. Your origin is where the x and y meet, okay? So where the x and y axis would meet would be right here, okay? The ordered pair for the origin would be zero, zero. You're not going across at all and you're not going up at all. So the ordered pair for the origin would be zero comma zero. Now this is an ordered pair. You always write ordered pairs as parenthesis x comma y. Okay, these are ordered pairs. Again, you write ordered pairs as x first and then the y. So if I were to go plot um, the point I'm going to name this point A, 1, 3. That means the 1 is the x, the x coordinate, and the 3 is the y coordinate. Again, because you write ordered pairs as x comma y. Okay, so if I were to actually go plot this point on the grid, I would go to my x axis first, and I'm, it's telling me to go over 1, so go over 1, and then my y is telling me to go up 3. One, two, three. That would be an A. So point A would be right here on the coordinate grid. Okay. Over one and up three. It's telling me over one, up three. X, comma, Y. Okay. Okay, hopefully you took some notes. We're going to do a little quiz here. Okay. All right. Here's my coordinate grid. What axis would be right here? Did you say Y axis? You are correct. If this is my Y axis, what would this axis be called? Did you say X axis? You are correct. By the way, the next letter in our mystery word is E. E as an elephant. Write E down because you have to have that key word at the end of the video. Okay, another quiz question. What or where 
is the origin. So point on the screen where the origin would be for this grid. Did you say right here? You are correct. Okay, the origin is where the X and the Y meet. Ooh, here's a trick question. What would be the ordered pair for the origin? Hmm, did you say zero, zero? You're correct, okay? The origin of anything is always gonna be zero, zero, okay? Don't forget the parentheses and the comma. Um, let's see, in the ordered pair, three, four, what would be the Y coordinate? Ooh, what is the Y coordinate? Did you say four? You're correct. Don't forget how to write an ordered pair. You would go X comma Y. So this is the Y coordinate. This is the X coordinate. How would I plot 34 on the coordinate grid? Did you say you would go over three and up four? You're correct. Okay, let's see. Um, another question is probably going to ask you is how to, um, to find a point on the grid and write the ordered pair. So let me put a point um, right here. Yeah, let me make my line a little straighter. Okay, and I'm gonna name this point Z. Okay, what would be the ordered pair for this? Did you say one, two, three, four, five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did you say five, seven? You're correct. Okay, again, make sure you have the parentheses, the X coordinate, comma, the Y coordinate, close the parentheses. Okay. Um, I think if you understand that, if you understand that this is the Y axis, this is the X axis, the origin is where they meet, which is zero, zero. You understand that the ordered pair goes X coordinate, Y coordinate. Um, then I think you've got this lesson pretty down. Let's see. Um, the next letter is a T, T as in um, Tom. That's the next letter for your mystery word. All right, I think that's good. Your next letter for the mystery word is a Z, as in zebra. Um, okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to um, close out the YouTube video and you're going to click on the Google Forms, put in the mystery word, and then click on the Pearson link and um, complete the homework assignment. Um, in the Pearson link at the top, right hand corner it's going to have a homework help button and you can push that and you can um, help you solve that problem it will help you like walk you through it so there's things you can do if you don't understand the problem so make sure you're using those resources of course you can always email me um, you can Google Hangout me and um, I think that's it uh, the next letter for your mystery word is an E again as an elephant and since the video is finished, I'll give you the other word, and it is, or letter, and it's an L as in language that is your mystery um, letter. So hopefully you have all those, you put them together. Don't share your mystery letters with anyone, please, because then I don't know if they're really watching the video or not, and I work so hard making the videos, and it takes forever making the videos. Hope you enjoyed um, Little May's in the video. I don't know if you saw them in the corner, but um, yeah, don't don't share that um, mystery word with anyone because I want to make sure, I want to see who's actually watching the whole video and who's just doing the homework assignment, okay? I'm not giving that much work, I don't think, this whole week, so um, it doesn't take that long to just watch the videos. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Give me some feedback if you like the video or not. Okay, bye guys.